Good morning. Well, we are on our way to work. I'm off school because it's spring break. Matthew gets a buddy today. Question of the day. Listen closely. Why are you talking so quietly? Question you of smile, the day. Smile. Question. Question of the day. If you try to fail and you fail, does that mean you succeed at failing or you fail because you failed? There you go. After self I don't know the answer to that. That's, that's the thing. That's why we're asking the viewers. Mind blown. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm telling you. Look at this. I should grow a beard. Here's a funny one. There's a crazy bunny. That's creepy. The cat. Hello, everyone. I have not filmed today, but it is lunchtime. I just. Whoa, what? I thought it was like 1 o'clock and it's 4.20 <laughs> so I guess this is like a late lunch early dinner I don't know <laughs> but this is what I made it's just spring mix lettuce with avocado and grilled chicken I have some lemon water in here this is just the aftermath I need to throw this away <laughs> So anyway, I'm about to eat lunch, um, but what I have been doing today in between editing, I wrote a blog post about um, the natural skincare that I got a while back. Y'all saw that in the vlog. Um, I got like a whole skincare line, so I wrote a blog post about um, why I made the switch from Rodan and Fields to this natural skincare. Um, so I did that, and I'm working on editing, and, um, yeah, Matthew's gonna be home late tonight because it is Wednesday, so it'll be a little while before he's home, um, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get back to editing and eat my lunch, yay, or late lunch, early dinner. Don't really know what to call it. I just finished eating my late lunch early dinner thing. Don't really know what to call it. Um, now I'm going to make some chocolate almond bites because I'm really craving chocolate and I know we have the stuff to make them and they're really easy to make. You just make them and put them in the fridge for 10 minutes and you're good. <laughs> are ready I'm so excited we're going to firehouse subs today which is kind of weird it's just hot behind me yeah, we'd actually I don't think we've ever been here before so this should be pretty good so I've got myself a club on a sub but my name is spelled a little odd today met met to you met to you that's my name. My favorite part is that pickle right there. It's Caleb chomping on his sub. <laughs> he looks so happy. <laughs> Megan's with me. She's got herself a little turkey, make your own sub. Oh, hey, yes, free pickle. <laughs> Fireman at Firehouse Subs. You're weird. <laughs> uh, that's why people, that's why I'm like, well, they say people live to be 120. I'm like, back then, the birth records weren't really accurate. They just made yeah, a guess. Born 18, 50, or 33, or 34. One of them. How bad would you freak out right now if the top of that busted open? Kind of an odd thing to do in the middle of the day, but we found a uh, what is this cemetery? We yeah. found an old cemetery out here in the middle of nowhere. Wow. We should come back here for Halloween. 
Yes. Oh Sleep my Sleep out here. Gosh. That's the worst thought <laughs> ever. Is it? The worst thought ever? I don't know if it's the worst thought ever, Matthew. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. That's, that's pretty, pretty bold. As all the thoughts in the history of the world, that was the worst thought ever. I disagree with that, Matthew. Of the ones that I've heard, yes. I think Hitler had some pretty bad thoughts. I never heard his thoughts. So, I, never, I was never friends with him. I wasn't either. But we saw his thoughts. He put them into action. Jesus. Are you filming? Huh? <laughs> I, I probably said some crazy stuff in two minutes. Dino was a Mexican. I was busy trying to unclog my uh, dog's poopy sheet. Like it's so, butthole? What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like... What? It's a long. What in the world it's just long. happened? Where, where did this start? So my dog, I take my dog out to go to the bathroom every day or every morning. And so I'm, while he's squatting, he's like squatting and then he'll run around. And he looks back and he squats some more and he just keeps on squatting. To the right. Oops. <laughs> just go that way. Turn right. And then he will... Um, like he would almost like he'd sit down and then he walks up to me and he looks at me like there's something wrong here and I need your help, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> and, but nothing would come out and I kept thinking maybe he's all like clogged up because of the new food we got him on. So I finally said, come here, Zeus. And I put him between my legs and I lift up his tail and no joke, like we're gonna be a turd stuck right there. So I end up having to take him to the garage and then take him up to the hose and wash it all off with the hose. <laughs> it was disgusting. <laughs> How did those things happen to you? Jesus. <laughs> 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 uh, yep. I don't know how that happens. If you've ever seen, seen like, a and water, by the way, water first thing in the morning through a hose is super cold. I don't know how to bring it. I have no idea where the light Did was. Did you just I run a red just, light? I'm not just, sure what I just happened. I not see it. I don't know. <coughs> I think you just You've went. never seen a dog butthole pucker until you sprain it with ice cold water out of it. I'm telling you, I think it Oh my gosh. Yeah. It was a bad day for both of us. That's another story to add to the Jason Chronicles. Yeah. That's all right. That wasn't even worth telling, Jason. Oh, I, I, you chose the word yeah, you pooper, pooper shoot. shoot. At I first, like, I'm oh, like, at first, like, is there some kind of like thing that your dog first, uses for the bathroom? Right. At first, my mind went, his dog has a special contraption that it poops in. Oh my <laughs> and he had to clean that out. That's got to be disgusting. Oh my, then I'm like, but that's this. not. Every dog has this special contraption. And then I'm like, no, that's not, that wouldn't happen. So he's talking about his sphincter <laughs> his, his dog's colon yes. <laughs> yeah it's pretty gross so here's another story it's not as funny at all there's a snake with its head popped out up from underneath my fence yeah. so I climb over the fence and I go back there I'm pretty sure it was a garden snake but I end up catching the thing Colt comes home from school he's under the bucket for how long all day <laughs> the snake is <laughs> <laughs> yeah like all day so he comes home, I get the snake, we take pictures with it, and they, they touch it and everything, it's really cool. Then it's time to let him go. Um, and so I walk to the backyard, I'm gonna let him go right out the hole he came from. Um, but before I do that, he takes his tail and ties himself in a knot around my arm. Either I tear him apart or I'm stuck. I'm like, Dalton, grab his tail and just like unwrap it and get him off of me. Dalton didn't want to have anything to do with it. So I finally try to get him and I'm like, okay, fine. Colton, can you get this? And he starts to cry. Eventually Dalton, you know, got done screaming and panicking and I'm, he uncoiled it and let it out. So I got to let it go. Next day, I'll come home and there's a snake on my patio. I think it might have been the same snake. There's a real simple solution to that. Don't pick up the snake. Where are we going, Megan? We are going to Starbucks.
Walking through the back little hallway Being kind of creepy Look at this a huge steel Do you know what they're <coughs> building here? No, tell me, you seem really excited about I it. am excited I wish you could have seen his face They are 